stuck in the corner. Oh, silence in board mode. Let's finish him off. Oh, he is Captain Sam. He is going to parry break me. No, 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 he's going down. Come on, come on, come on. Can we finish it off? He's got just a little bit left. A little bit, a little bit. Oh, got to get around behind him. Smash, smash, smash. One more hit, one more hit. No, still parry broken. One more hit, one more hit. No, yes. what is up guys it's soul bash we are back again today and today we're gonna have a little fun day monday and also we're gonna say goodbye to the panda for the next week because we're gonna go in here and i have a seven day class change card that we're gonna use and we are gonna have us a little fun with the gunslinger now i have played the gunslinger before i do have a lower level gunslinger but I've not actually used him a whole lot at higher levels. What we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to do some PvP with him. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's been a very, very long time since I've actually done PvP. Uh, since I have actually gotten back into playing a lot more and kind of caught up just a little bit. I wouldn't say all the way. Um, it's going to be interesting. For one, let me switch some pets around. We're going to keep uh, definitely the boxer in there. Captain Sam, he's iffy, but we're probably going to keep him in there. And we're also going to use, of course, the Hades. And we're going to jump right in. As you can see here, my might is not actually consistent with the stats that I have. The only really good stats that I have are... The ones that I'm going for, which are the crit damage. And other than that, I really don't have a whole lot going for me as for PvP. As you can see right there, it's not the best. Now, the very first fight coming up, it was versus a level 76 panda. And this guy was pretty tough. And he got a silence on me right there. Actually, I got a silence on him right there. And his pet stood in. And I'm going to try to take him out. He comes in, silences me. Time to get away from him. I'm not going to sit there and take a beating when I don't have to. And he pops Sun Wukong, spits the pets out from the kiss of death. And these things are beastly. Don't know when they got buffed. But here recently, I've noticed a lot of people using Sun Wukong in PvP. Now, with Sun Wukong, uh, you can use the uh, pet ability, which I believe it's called Kiss of Death. You can use it twice in one transformation. And we're going to get away from him here, try to get a little bit of damage out on him. And if you're going to let me get away from you and leave pets around me, I'm going to take him out. And as long as I can stay ranged, that's one reason. He transformed a Bork. Bork is a no-no get away. That is one thing I do know about PvP. If somebody transforms in a board, get away from them. There's no sense in standing in trying to kill them there. Uh, just stay as far away as possible. Use that ranged to my advantage. Get a little bit of that health back. Uh, that jump right there was a waste. As you can tell, I'm not the best with a gunslinger. This is the very first time I've played him in a very long time. And... He from the looks of it, he got me silenced again. I'm way down below quarter of health, and he's still way above half health. Uh, it was a very interesting fight, none the least. And as long as I could stay away, keep that damage going, he jumps right back in, leap away from him. Got to do it. Uh, I've only got one pet left, which is the boxer. And I'm saving him because if he gets close to me again, I can pop him out, get that silence in on him. And right here, it's just not going to happen. For one, he's still got plenty of pets left. Those Sun Wukong's coming out again. That is one pet I should have killed at the very beginning. See, I had that one silence left. That was my only opportunity to do some damage to him. And I did that. My boxer died. Can't use silence anymore. He's still got Sun Wukong coming after me. All the pets are gone finally, and so my only chance to try to get away, he's got me slowed, and it's just not going to happen. He's got too fast of the rolls to get close to me. He misses me with a silence there, but takes me out with a freeze. 
We were pretty close on the mic, but he did have four levels on me. It was a fun fight, but I did realize something. On this second queue, when I come in, I realized I was missing one key thing. I did not have my Bork with me. So this fight was versus a level 70 panda called Mocha. Uh, I'm not sure what server they were from. I'll show you briefly at the end of it if you can catch it and pause it right there. But this fight, it was going to go pretty quick. Got the silence. And you know what? We're just going to go over Hit Captain Sam, and we're going to finish this off because these Sun Wukongs, they're getting pretty annoying pretty quick. I cannot bring my Sun Wukong in as I have not kept him up to par with my levels. I think my Sun Wukong is still sitting somewhere around level 59. Um, I'd have to invest quite a bit more into him just to be able to start doing fights with him. But that ended fairly quick, and this is where... I realized, you know, I've got to have this Boric in here if I'm going to try to compete in the PvP. So, take a look. Oh, he's not up to par either. Level 64. This is where I stopped recording, went and farmed the rest of the Orange Surge pills, got him up, but I did not surge him past level 69. I uh, did not enhance him as well because we are also saving that for another video sometime in the future. Next fight, level 70 warrior, uh, Wasabi. Uh, you probably recognize that one from the very opening of this video. This was an extremely fun fight. I started out dropping everything on the pets. He's turned into Sun Wukong, and pets continue to come after me. And like I said, you leave them close to me like that and run away, I'm going to kill them. I mean, if you have no need for your pets in PvP, hey, just leave them out. Hey, let's, let's take them down. Uh, he come in, he silenced some of my pets and went bored. And, of course, that's the cue to run. I'm going to use a little bit just to throw some damage out there because I actually want to kill that Boric pet while he's chasing me down. And I believe we do that right there and leaves him with no chance of ever turning back into Bork again because he does have the skin and I'm pretty sure he does have it enhanced. Uh, that is one thing I'm hoping to do very soon and get away from him there because that spin does quite a bit of damage. This move right here, you stand in, I'm not sure exactly the amount that it does and here's a clip from the very beginning. <laughs> This was extremely fun to do. I did not expect to win this at this point after he parry broke me. I figured he was just going to juggle me up and down until it was over. But I somehow managed to get behind him after that parry break was over. Right there. He almost had me again. And I got that last smash in and the victory. He had almost 400k might at level 70. So that was a pretty tough fight. Now moving on to the next one, we had King James. Now this is where I learned a very, very key thing in PvP nowadays, because a lot of things have changed. This right here, he come out swinging, and right here, he's gonna pop out Sun Wukong, and he's gonna transform. Sun Wukong apparently is the counter to Boric, because you can see I switched over and actually got Bork in, as I said earlier, but look at the damage these guys put out. I tried to take him out with Bork right there, but Sun Wukong is the counter to Bork. It's the damage reduction that he gives, especially after you enhance him. He does some crazy amount of damage, plus with the damage reduction. The mites were pretty close, but we will have a rematch. Next up, we have Juni 10. Uh, level 73 treasure hunter and a treasure hunter is one of the only characters that I have yet to play in the almost whole nine months of me playing Tai Chi Panda. Um, it's not piqued my interest yet to try to jump into it and play it, but we may do a character change one day and try her out or we may just start at level one and see how it goes. But treasure hunters are some of the hardest ones for me. As far as keeping up with them, they're so fast. They can get away from you so easily, especially when you transform into Boric. That is one thing that I had trouble with is just keeping up with them as I transferred into transformed into Boric. 
and as you can see there I swapped over to my Phoenix and Ice Phoenix and I brought them two in because they are actually two of my highest level pets as far as you know levels and enhancing but they aren't the highest Evo that I have the thing with these guys are they're really annoying in PvP uh, Ice Phoenix yeah he is useful for PvP but the regular Phoenix he's not really built around PvP I mean if you know you're gonna get a pet kill in you can use that uh, the rare skill and get that damage buff but that's one reason I did bring him in because of that new skill that I got from enhancing that Phoenix we swap over and this is where we try to take her out and she almost gets away but she, then she gets confused stops right there and that ends it very close fight she had a little bit more might than I did they were very close coming up we have a, another warrior level 71 and right here gonna run away instantly because they're gonna bring out Captain Sam try to avoid that guy as much as I can drop that down so he can't get to me as quickly as he would want to and that boxer just magically comes and tries to attack me but guess what I'm not gonna leave him standing because I don't want to get silenced anymore for this fight I've still got Hades up that is one thing I've got to get used to is using that Hades a uh, rare skill reducing that damage in these fights uh, that goes along with ice Phoenix also because that does help out in these longer fights that you do get into in PvP swapped over dropped the silence and the Bork and he's just gonna stand in that swordsman is not gonna cut it and it did not fare for him he stunned me a little bit right there and we're just gonna go ahead and finish him off with Bork and that is it and very even fight level 71 72 very close to the same might and of course we ran into another treasure hunter level 73 named deuce vicky i'm gonna go at this one a little different i'm gonna drop that skeleton king rare skill right there at the very beginning just to keep them pets from coming close to me uh vicky went into looks like captain sam mode to begin with we're gonna avoid her took out my skeleton king so i'm gonna stay ranged on her gonna use that rare skill from Hades get away stay away from that Captain Sam because we do not need Perry broken any more than we already are and she jumps in that one skill it poses a danger because you can't actually attack her when she when she does that skill uh, she transforms into Bork got to get away and if we could stay away from Bork hey the better we are and she's low so I'm gonna take my chance silence and go board myself and finish it off a little bit less might than I did but hey it was still a blast to do and guys the reason I'm doing these fights uh, we'll get to that in just a second I want to talk about this again King James we come back up against him again okay he beat me the first time with a Sun Wukong so I'm taking a little bit different approach I'm going straight out silence with the Bork and we immediately took half of his health so after he went Sung Wukong I'm gonna avoid him but those pets I'm gonna take out I'm gonna use slam and smash every chance I get to take them pets out because them jokers can do a lot of damage because there's multiples of them they actually do more damage than the guy himself so as long as we can stay away from him while he's in that we're okay now we've got Ice Phoenix and the Phoenix out and we're just gonna annoy the crap out of him with that because that's what they do best. This fight was a lot different from the other one we went in with because just the options I tried and the strategies that you go against ended pretty quick. Therein was a good fight. Okay, now getting into why I actually wanted to do this guys if you haven't looked at the numbers recently we hit 4,000 subscribers like sometime last week which that was my goal for the entire year was to get 4,000 subscribers we hit it we finally got there and it has been an amazing ride so far we've had a blast doing these videos and I just want to thank you guys for supporting me so much and if you also haven't looked at the numbers up there um, we are actually 
well beyond three quarters of a million views um probably sometime shortly after the first of the year uh february first of february somewhere around there we're gonna probably hit a million views and that is just phenomenal i did not expect any of that to happen this quickly but i have enjoyed every minute of it now uh, getting back to the fight we have the fox mage level 72 which is on my panda i'm not very good against but fox mages did get a little bit nerfed in the last update they did uh they were they fixed the teleportation where they can't actually teleport quite as much uh that has helped out a little bit against them but when we're going with the gunslinger We've got multiple ways that we can stay ranged, and of course, it's nothing but ranged, so we're going to try to chase her down with Boric here, and those are one of the hardest ones to catch up, and she's going to try to come in at the last minute with the transformation of Boric left, and she runs out and tries to get away, but it's not going to happen. We're going to get stunned right here, and actually, I didn't get stunned. My record feature <laughs> got in the way. But we did finish it off. Uh, very close fight there as well. Pretty much the same fight. We run into Juni 10 again. The level 73 Treasure Hunter. Um, I recorded for like 30 minutes straight. And we just went through. I cut out all the waiting for the queues and stuff like that. Because sometimes uh, one of these. It took like 5 minutes for me to get in the queue for one of them. Um, the queue system is working a lot better i'm getting more people that are in my level range in my might range and it's just a lot more fun to actually do pvp now i didn't realize that they had done that much work on it um so we might be seeing quite a bit more of these videos here in the future because i'm actually getting back into doing them um, the PvP wise, I'm still not up to par with the stuff. Like I said, I've still got a PvE build. I mean, only thing I've really got going for me is the crit damage. And as you can see, the numbers there, 1.2 million from the abilities that he's got. They're pretty nice numbers, but I'm still lacking on quite a bit to actually be competitive any whatso in PvP. But it's not going to stop me from doing it because it's still fun. Uh, right here, we're down to a Phoenix, and we still got my Bork and Boxer left, and she's going to run. Good choice. We went through this a while ago, and she messed up and uh, got a little confused there on the bottom on the last fight that we did, and I caught her up with the Bork, and she's doing a pretty good job at avoiding me this time with Bork, and I... I get really close right here but i didn't get a hit in that was very disappointing right there board went down so we're back to basic melee gonna take quite a bit time this one did last probably the longest out of all of them because the avoidance that treasure hunters have against me i only had one pet left right here which was my boxer she had a couple and I think it ended up with just you know me and her I get the uh, skeleton king killed right here jump out of the way and that is it on the pets it's just down to me and her and I've got the upper hand more hit points ranged and I can stay away from her had a blast doing this video guys if you want to see more of this let me know in the comments below and as always let me know what you think and also guys if you have not seen some of my other videos the one right here we did on solar nucleus where we enhanced the pets and we did the skins on two of them and if you have not seen what came with the holiday update that we had last week check it out right there everything's right there and guys if you are not subscribed click on the YouTube button right there it'll subscribe you to my channel for more awesome videos like this guys as always, you know it. I've said it I don't know how many times. Like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solbash. You guys have a nice day.